Well, Josh, nil-nil, 10 men for 30 minutes or so. It's a little bit of a draw that feels like a loss, isn't it? Yes, it, it is at the moment. Yeah, I think we we dominated for large spells, yeah. both when they had 11 men and, and 10 men, which is encouraging given given their away record and where, and where they are in the league. So you do have to look at the positives. But yeah, at the moment, it feels like a defeat because we, we created a lot of chances. We're playing against 10 men for long for a long time and we just couldn't get that final touch, that final final sort of pass or finish in, in the final third, unfortunately. Yeah, we, as you say, we had a lot of chances. We had a lot of territory. We had a lot of possession. Uh, we had loads of free kicks and corners, but it just wasn't going to go in today. Yeah, exactly. It was, it was one of those days, unfortunately. I think... Um, I think the encouraging thing is, though, that we, we did create those chances. I think there's been periods, especially at home, when we've been chasing games where we've sometimes struggled to create chances and we've, we've looked a bit aimless, sort of trying to trying to hit long balls that, that aren't on. And I think that the encouraging thing was throughout the game, we, we tried to play in the right way. And when we got into the final third, we were trying to pass pass balls, use players that are great on the ball, like Max, Hodgey, Tops and, and Loza. So I think it's, it's, in, it's encouraging that we continue to play in the right way, but it's just a shame that it, it didn't pay off this time. Yeah. Um, you mentioned Hodgie there. He didn't come on until very late. Were you a bit surprised by that? No, not at all, because I think we were creating chances. I think yeah. if, if, you're not, if you're not creating chances, then you, then you change things. But we were, I think, you, you look at who would you bring him off for. You've got players that are playing well and, and creating chances. So, no, I wasn't surprised he didn't, he didn't come on sooner because obviously he's a player that's got real quality, but the players on the pitch are, are playing well at the same time. So. Sure. That's the, the Brian Clough approach. They're, they've done all right so far. I'll leave them out there to carry on. Well, yeah, exactly. I think, think that's it. I think um, you know, it's, very, it's very easy to sit with hindsight and say, oh, we should have brought him on earlier. But one of those players could easily have nicked the goal before that and, and sure. no one says a word. Yeah. The uh, sending off, you were quite near it, weren't you? I was quite near it after I ran ran towards the referee. Well, it, it was it on looked, your side. Yeah, he, he was, I think he was high and, high and late on the follow through. I think it's one of those where he's not he's not gone in with the intention to hurt him but yeah. he could easily have, have done some damage I know Sean's ankle's really really swollen at the moment and I think it, it was probably the right decision yes I think it was, I agree completely I don't think he meant it at all and he was almost unlucky that it yeah. happened but uh, I don't think the ref had much choice really no definitely not when you catch someone that high on the, on the follow through you're, you're asking for trouble yeah so and going down to 10 men can have various different effects on teams um, I thought from personal perspective I thought that that made them sort of decide on a draw and that they were going to hang on yeah I think even during the first half they were they were sort of fairly fairly um negative in their approach and, and happy to happy to sort of sit back and, and play on the counter which I think is is again testament to how well we played we we played well and pinned them back and did what we want to do and, and carried on where we left off from Stockport which is playing in other teams half and getting our attacking players in in the right areas we don't want Heidi, Jamar and Tarps getting the ball on the halfway line and having to run 60 yards before they can get a shot off. So we, we got them in the right areas and their, their quality was shining through. It's just a shame that the, the final final pass didn't happen. Sure. Are you enjoying this season at a higher level? Loving it, yeah. Highest I've, level you've played? Yeah, highest level I've played. It's it's great. I think that um, it's it's a great group to be a part of. We're doing really well, despite what, despite what some people say. I think... Um, I think you need to always take a step back and look at the league table, look at the the resources, and put everything into context. context. I think there's, you know, people can say, "Oh, we didn't win for 13 games, but we didn't lose many either." Yeah, so, that's true. you know, it's it's easy it's easy to be negative, and I think a lot of people are negative, um, or the vocal people tend to be negative. But I'm I'm really happy with how this season's going. The players are really happy, and the the away support at Stockport I've got to mention as well that was that yeah. was incredible the the fans there were were unbelievable for for ninety minutes and we we really do appreciate that yeah and uh, talking of crowds over two thousand two hundred today and one hundred and forty something from Halifax which means there was two thousand locals in there yeah it's great and loads of kids in the crowd as well which is yeah. is great to see because you want youngsters coming and enjoying the game we've got we have kids in the change room all the time coming in and, and signing things and, and doing things like that. So it's great. I think that's that's really important and that's that's what Dows and Ian and Martin have done. They're, they're doing their best to engage the community. That's that's nothing to do with us players. That's that's all the hard work that, that Dows, Martin and Ian put in off, off yeah, the pitch. Very much. Um, Maidenhead away next Saturday, tea time kickoff for the telly. Yeah, great. I mean, it's... Is, does that genuinely excite the squad to, to be on TV or are they very blasé about it? No, I think it, it is really exciting. You you want to play on telly. It's not often that in teams at lower levels are, are on television. Yeah. So it's 
it's great for us. We're all looking forward to it. I'm sure there'll, I'm sure there'll be uh, 16 fresh haircuts uh, <laughs> on Friday next week for the for the game on Saturday. Uh, they'll, they'll need to install extra mirrors in the away dressing room then. Yeah, I think so. I, I think, think so. so, yeah. Um, two last questions. I believe since I last spoke to you, you've had a, a, a very significant life event happen. Is that right? I have. I am um, very lucky to say I got engaged uh, at the middle of September, I think it was. So, right. yeah, very, very lucky. And uh, who asked who, if I may, if I may cry? <laughs> I, asked, I asked her. I yeah. asked her, yeah. It was a, an elaborate plan, and it, it oh, all, luckily it all, it all came together. And, Fantastic. And she said yes, so I've trapped her. Excellent. Uh, any thoughts yet on when the wedding day might be? Yeah, it's, it's June next year. It's all booked. Oh, right. we're, we're going ahead with it as, as quick as possible, which is, yeah, exciting, exciting planning. Fantastic. And final question, um, if not yourself, who would you give Man of the Match to? Um, I thought Musa did really well next to me. I thought Ben was, was an animal. In the first yeah, exactly. Half. And and ben, and ben was great. I think any one of the back four played played really well. I think it's our first clean sheet in a while, which is massive, massive for us because we we know it's we know it's been a while. So I think anyone in the back four could have won it. I thought Glenn as well did a fantastic job in in front of the yeah, back he's so four. So calm, just popping it off, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. But going back to Musa, I was. I, I sit there because I don't know who's going to be man of the match, so I don't know who I'm going to have to ask questions afterwards. Yeah. And I, I was, first half particularly, I was thinking it might be him, thinking what I could ask. And uh, a word popped into my head about his style of defending, sp- particularly today, which was uncompromising. Well, I think they, yeah, I think both, both him and Ben, when they play like they did today, I wouldn't want to play against them no. because they're, they're aggressive, they're horrible, they're nasty, and, and you don't get a sniff. So when yeah. those two are like that, it kind of sets the platform for us going forward because sure. the ball's being headed and kicked 60 yards in the other direction. It's it's closer to their goal than it is ours. Well, that's true. But having said that, final, final point, their skipper, number five, he could head it further than most people can kick it. Yeah, big big, big header of the ball. Yes, so, um, was, yeah. Anyway, thanks very much for your time. Congratulations thanks, on Man of the Match. Cheers. And we'll see you next week. See you next week.